And hi again, everybody. My name is Dylan Black. It is a Friday, and welcome to Daytime Ottawa right here on Rogers TV. The Paul Weber Trio is going to be playing a very special show November 30th, and it is called An Ode to Jerry Barber. We'll find out about Jerry Barber and so much more coming up in moments. But first, a performance. Here is that very trio on Daytime Ottawa. I set sail for Canada in 1826. I left my bonnie Scottish homeland, ran across the Atlantic. From Quebec to Ontario, then up the Utah way I go to survey for Colonel John. And American Yeah, we climbed our way from Entrance Bay Crawling through the mud and clay And we fought every inch of the way to build the Reed Canal Another mile, another mile With 125 to go Ontario. Well, for days we struggled onwards through endless cold, dark swamps, through mosquito plains and driving rain. We worked until we dropped, and that we huddled back to back, our hair frozen in our tracks. The next day. The hogs back in on what we did go another mile. Yeah, three years on the Rideau Canal. It's Paul Weber and his trio right here on Daytime Ottawa. Hello, Paul. Hey. It's good to have you here. Tell us about your trio. Who did you bring with you today? Yep. <clears throat> Marisa Lefecto singing with me and Rob Lethridge on upright bass. Amazing work. Okay, so the show is an ode to Jerry Barber, and he was a pretty famous figure in our area for some time. Who is Jerry Barber? Jerry Barber was a bouncer who uh, controlled the door at a place called the Shotier in the 
50s and the 60s and the 70s and into the 80s. And yeah. he was a very famous guy, very well known for taking on anybody that wanted to get through that door. Okay. Why did you decide to dedicate an evening to this fellow? Well, the, uh, it was the first song that I wrote in a series of songs about Ottawa, history, past and present. And that song kind of came out of all the stories I read online about Jerry Barber. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what can we expect on this night? So we do songs about Ottawa, past and present. We tell stories about the secrets of Ottawa, things that people don't know about, little stories, places in Ottawa, uh, history, stories from a long time ago, and things that are still happening today. Okay. Well, why, why do you uh, love Ottawa so much? Why do you take the time to write about the city? I think it's really important that we tell our own stories. And often we hear stories from other parts of the world. Well, what about the stories about Ottawa that people don't know? All right. Now, there's no recording yet uh, of the, 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 uh, the uh, sorry, I was going to call you the Jerry Barber trio. That, that probably, <laughs> I like that, no. Jerry Barber. The Paul Weber trio, no recording yet, but you're planning on hitting the studio in the new year. We're going to be going into gallery studios in early January, and there'll be a CD coming out in the spring. Okay. I understand at this point you're asking people to help out. It's not easy sometimes being a musician, but you're offering some cool things if people say, here's a couple of bucks to help out with your recording. Yeah, you can pre-buy a CD. You can pre-buy tickets to the CD release, and we're actually also selling Jerry Barber posters if you want to buy one of those. Are you really? A Jerry yeah. Barber? I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What, a, what a guy. Okay, so what else is ahead then for 2020? I mean, more stories about Ottawa? Definitely going to be more stories about Ottawa. We're going to be getting out and playing the CD for people and we also do the live performance with video so you get to see a lot of historical images of Ottawa that accompany our songs. Okay and it's happening Preston Gladstone 8 o'clock sharp I can imagine. Yes indeed. Musicians are never late. No never. So, uh, thank you very much Paul Weber and his trio for being here today. More details paulweber.ca and Ode to Jerry Barber Saturday November 30th. Good work. Thank you. Great way to kick off the show and of course more daytime coming up in moments on Rogers TV.